what is up YouTube this is Chris or Lunar Man again um, bringing you another Hearthstone best cards to get video um, in this video I will talk about I'll just go down the line uh, I'll talk about Druid and what are the best cards and worst cards in Druid um, and in this video I will talk about all the rares and epics and legendaries but uh, in my neutral card video, I just talked about some of the rares, um, mainly uncommons, and then basic cards. Um, I will go back and make a separate video about epics and re legendaries in the neutral section. So yeah, let's get started. This video should go pretty quick since there's only like three pages, four pages. Okay, um, start at the beginning. Innervate is amazing in ramp druids because it gives you two extra mana crystals. This could... Um, turn into a turn 3 Druid of the Claw, it could turn into a turn 2 Keeper of the Grove, a turn 6 Iron Bark, a turn 5 Ancient of War, a turn 7 Scenarius. Um, it's definitely a pretty good card. Moonfire, eh, I don't ever use it, it's not that great. Um, I just use Wrath. Wrath's an uncommon, so you should be able to get it pretty easily. But if you don't have any Wraths, Moonfire is not a bad replacement if you're just trying to do Druid cards. Um, claw is pretty good. Give your hero plus two attack and two armor. This is good for removal. I would not use it f for anything but removal. Um, but yeah, naturalize is a really bad card. Uh, basically, it's really bad because it gives your opponent two cards. I mean, you can destroy any minion, which is good, but you don't want your opponent to have uh, a lot of choices with the cards. A uh, savagery. Um. I've never used this card. Uh, you can use it in combo with this, but I've never really used this card. <laughs> I mean, you can use it in combo with this and Savage Roar because this gives all your characters plus two attack. So, say you use your hero ability, you use Savage Roar, and you use Claw, you're gonna have your hero's gonna have five damage, so you could deal five damage to a minion. Um, so, it, I don't know. It, I don't think it's really that great though. Um, Mark of the Wild is amazing. Give a minion taunt plus two plus two. It's just really good for buffing a dude up. Um, Power of the Wild is an uncommon. It's also really nice. Um, choose one. Give your minions plus one plus one. Summon a three two panther. Yeah, it's just pretty nice. Wild Growth is pretty good too. Um, if you go turn two, you got the coin. You got Wild Growth. You can use this, and you'll have an extra mana than your opponent the whole game, which definitely gives you an advantage. Wrath is an amazing card. I see it in every Druid deck that I use. Um, just because it's so versatile. Um, deal 3 damage to a minion or 1 damage and draw a card. Healing Touch is also really good. Um, I don't know if I'd run both, but you can have 1 in your deck and you're guaranteed 8 health. Mark of Nature is nice. Mm, I kinda like... Mark of the Wild better, but I don't know, maybe I can try this card out. Um, give a minion plus 4 attack or 4 health and taunt. It's not bad. Savage Roar is really good if you're using a token druid because it works in conjunct with cards that produce tokens. Um, because it gives all your characters plus 2 attack. Ooh, here's another card that this card will combo off of. It's called Bite. Um, give your hero plus 4 attack and 4 armor. I will say that I've never used that card before. Soul of the Forest, another card that I've never used, I just have it. Um, give your minions Death Rattle, summon a 2 2 Triant. Eh, I don't know, I don't really see this card working that well. Maybe good in a token druid deck, but other than that, nah. Swipe is pretty amazing, like, I would also run this in like every druid deck. Um, deal 4 damage to an enemy and 1 damage to all other enemies. Nice for removal. Keeper of the Grove. One of the, my favorite cards in this. It's so versatile. Uh, four drop, deal two damage, or silence a minion. Um, it's a pretty good counter to early aggro decks, as to you can destroy their knife juggler if they have it. Um, Nourish is a really good card. I will say that I never use this to gain the two, two mana crystals. I always use this to draw the three cards. Um, just because by turn 5, I really don't need any extra mana crystals because I have other things to play on turn 6 and 7. 
<clears throat> okay, Starfall. I'm going to compare this to another card in just a second. Um, deal 5 damage to a minion for 5 or 2 damage to all enemy minions. I think this card is better than Starfire because this card also deals 5 damage but it costs 1 extra. I mean you get to draw a card but if you have Nourish then you don't really need that extra draw card. Um, also you can change this and make it deal 2 damage to all enemy minions which this one you cannot. Druid of the Claw is another must that you like must enchant if you want to play Druid. It's another really versatile card and it's just really strong. Um, choose one, a 4-4 with charge or a 4-6 with taunt for 5. Um, Forts of Nature is good if you run token Druid, but otherwise it's, it's alright, I guess. I wouldn't do it anything other than token. Summon 3... 2-2 two, two trees with charge that die at the end of the turn. I've thought about running this in combo with this, but if you think about it, that's all 10 of your mana just to get 3 2-2 two, two creatures on the field with charge. I don't know. It's an interesting idea, but I don't think it'd be that reliable. And of course, Starfire is okay, but if you have Starfall, you should just run Starfall, I think. Ancient of War is amazing. He's an epic, but he's amazing. If you have an extra 400 dust and you want to play Druid, you should totally enchant this dude. Um, choose one. Plus 5 attack or plus 5 health and taunt. On turn 7, a 510 with taunt is pretty intimidating. Even though he only has 5 attack, 10 health. Oh, so good. Um, Iron Bark Protector is also really good, but if you have this guy, just run this guy. Um, but if you don't have him, which you probably won't, Iron Bar Protector is a good replacement because he is a basic card. Um, and of course the legendary Scenarius, the only legendary that I have. He's really good. Give your other minions plus two plus two so he can be used in token decks that have a lot of minions on the field. Or summon two 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 trees with taunt. And he's good in defensive style decks. Um, so let me go to crafting mode and talk about the cards that I don't have. I don't have the Ancient of Lore. Um, another 7 drop. 5-5, five, five, draw 2 cards, or restore to 5 health. Um, this card is amazing. It's an epic, so like you may not, you probably won't have it if you're a beginner. But if you do get it, then you should definitely run this in your Druid deck. Um, it's just really good. The card draw or the health gain, um, it's a really good late game card. And apparently that's the only card that I don't have in Druid. <clears throat> but yeah. Okay, so which one should you enchant first? Um, enchant Wrath. Get both of those first. Like one of the first ones. Enchant Druid of the Claw first. Both of them first. Keeper of the Grove. Enchant this. Um, it'll be 200 dust. And do Starfall, so it's 400 dust. Let's see, let me add this up for you. 400 plus 80 plus another 80, so it's like 500 and something. Um, this one, enchant one of them. Usually you don't run two of these. And usually you can go get away with one of these too. Um, if you have a ton of dust, enchant the Ancient. The Ancients, Ancient of Lore, Ancient of War. But yeah, get the Druid of the Claw, get the Keeper of the Grove, and get the Wrath first. Like, high priority cards. And then Nourish, and then Starfall, and then if you have a lot, Ancient of War, and of course you have a ton, you get Scenarius. Um, <coughs> but that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed me talking about Druid. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, it's, only, it's like 9 minutes long. I'll show you the two Druid decks I have right now. This is like a weird ramp watcher druid deck. I have two ancient watchers and two defender of Argus. So I can play the watchers and then taunt them up. But it's also kind of a ramp because I have some big creatures. I have Scenarius, Sunwalker, Argent Commander. I have the Faceless. I have the, and then I have Druid of the Claw. And then I have the basic ramp. I call it heal ramp because I have two heals in it right now. Um, usually you only run one heal. And right now people are running one Mark of the Wild. And yeah, this is more of a big deck. Like I have the War, the Protector, Scenarius, Sunwalker, Faceless Manipulator. 
um, big game hunter for late game removal and yeah so the one healing touch is replaceable that's why I call it heal I tried the cobalt geomancer but I found that I never really drew that card in conjunct with my spells so I took it out mm. but yeah these are my two druid decks right now I really like druid it's my highest level it is level 30 yeah um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Tell me if it helped you out. Um, and I will see you guys later. Uh, stay tuned for more videos to come. Like, I will do one of these for all of these. So that's like nine, eight more videos. Um, and I will probably upload them in no particular order. Like, if I upload this one first and, like, you comment, Oh, dude, you should totally do Rogue next. And I'll do Rogue next because, like, I'm not going to do it in any order. Um, so yeah, leave a comment in this video if you want to see a certain person next, certain hero next, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.